Got too much drip, got too much sauce. I'm in a trap, about to get it all. Hey man, what's good? It's your boy Vito's up back with another mother freaking reaction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey man, um, today you already know you can tell what we finna be reacting to. I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know what I'm saying? We finna be reacting to this. Um, hope y'all like, comment down below, subscribe. Hey, thank you for showing me love on the last reaction video. I'm trying to post these every day or, you know what I'm saying, in a good span of the time that I can post them. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I appreciate all y'all. The real dog pound is watching me right now. That's all I gotta worry about. The real motherfuckers in the dog pound, bro. I love y'all. I mess with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all... Y'all mess with me heavy. Y'all watch anything I post. And I and I really appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Sh Y'all show me so much love. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into this video. We are watching seven most chilling things ever found by deep sea divers. Okay, Whoa! that's what we're reacting to. Lord. All right, let's get into this video, man. Every day, people strap on about 50 pounds of deep sea diving gear just to take a little trip down underwater. But most of the time, things are fine. Every now and again, however, something super creepy is spotted. Like one of the ugliest sharks you'll ever see. Those are just a couple of examples of what we have in store today, where we present to you the seven most chilling things ever found by deep sea divers. Okay, before we get into the video, I know I look rough. You don't gotta like, you don't gotta say that. I know I look bad, bro. I'm just waking up, man. I, this is the dedication. I'm just waking don't up. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the Supreme, yeah, like, and click like the notification video, bell for my more video. lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Number seven, giant squid. Before we begin, I truly believe that it takes a special kind of person to go down into the deepest depths of our oceans just oh. for the purposes of exploration. What We've lamented this several times on our show in the past, but according to researchers, only about 5% of all underwater across the world has been explored. That means that there are tons what? of things down there that we've never seen and- Only 5% of the ocean is found, so you telling me we can go in space, but we can't go. All right. We'll likely never see. So with that being said, today we'll start here with one of the most mysterious underwater sea creatures ever caught on tape during a deep sea dive, the giant squid. In the video that found its way online back in 2013, this humongous squid was caught on camera in its natural habitat. And it's one of the most terrifying videos ever taken underwater. The footage oh. was captured off the coast of Japan. And this big fella comes God, in massively dang. outsizing the more common and much more normal sized squids hey, that what if typically that squid come in at around eight inches face, long. This <laughs> fella though is much larger, <laughs> measuring about 32 feet from crown to end of its tentacle. Luckily, Whoa. there's no evidence of a squid like this one or any other cephalopod for that matter actually consuming a human being. But scientists do admit that it is possible for a battle with one of these hey, animals no. to end up in death and no. not for the squid. In other news, there oh was a picture God. that went around the web oh for a while God. claiming to depict the arrival of a much more massive squid that apparently Ooh, had washed that? ashore in California. And according to the original post, this thing oh. was about 160 feet long. Now, of course, that size is ridiculous. And there's no proof that feet? a squid this large has ever lived, let alone washed up on the West Coast. So you're telling me there's squid that big, bruh? Like, that's crazy, bruh. Now, that imagine crazy. that you're out on a cruise one day and you saw a squid that was 160 feet long oh, nah, swimming boy. along the side of the <laughs> boat. Oh, Has nah. anyone out there ever heard of the Kraken? As we oh, continue to navigate Kraken? through today's list Love of this. unfortunate things that have been recovered Bro, from deep underwater that? by deep sea divers, we've got this image that certainly suggests that something crazy was going on. As it appears, there's a man being pulled out of a sunken ship, Do, and it seems as if the man hands. here is mummified. Just how long was this vessel underwater before the diver came down and found it? And is there any chance that the guy being rescued 
is still alive. Nah, he ain't we'll alive. let you be we the did. judge of that as we hop right back uh, into the rest Brandon, of today's no countdown. Hands. Number six, Big How Bomb. Earlier this year, over in Germany, a uh, not so uncommon object was found underwater by a group of firefighters doing some routine training. The object was in fact a bomb that never exploded, obviously, mm. and was dropped by a U.S. warplane all the way back sometime during World War II. The police department was notified and a bomb squad was sent in, although it was determined that there was no way to safely relocate the failed bomb without risk of it exploding. So they oh. detonated it underwater, oh. and the resulting explosion and violent disruption of water surprised even the experts, as nobody expected hey, no. the blast to be- Imagine that y'all, imagine you watching that fool, like what if you were swimming? <laughs> if Lance's body would be in pieces right there. <laughs> that big. In I fact, 20 feet like below that. the surface of the main river in Frankfurt, where the bomb oh, went shit. off, there was nothing left of it at all. And there was a crater as a result from the blast that measured Dang. 30 feet wide and 5 feet deep. Locals who lived miles away from the detonation could feel the energy of it, almost Dang. like a small earthquake. In another scary note, each year nearly 2,000 tons of live bombs are found buried in German soil. Proof that about 15% of all live munitions dropped by the warplanes never exploded. Oh, oh number no, five. Oh, no. So you telling me there's still bombs everywhere? So what if I'm just walking one day and I just shoot a bomb and the joke explode? Like, I don't, I don't know. Baltic Sea UFO. <laughs> Back during the summer of 2011, a very strange story surfaced that told of a group of marine explorers who were using sonar to navigate through the waters. Revealed in the sonar images was something quite sonar. remarkable. An object near the bottom of the Baltic Sea seemed to be home to an object that looked eerily similar to the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movies. The disc-shaped oh object was God. called many different things once the images went viral online with people suggesting everything Talking from an Star alien Wars. to a UFO alien to evidence of some kind of former race of people who are no longer here on Earth. I, Years later... I do believe there's such thing as mermaids, though. Like, I believe there's mermaids and aliens because we haven't explored a lot of stuff. So I do believe there's such thing as... You, you can say what you want. <laughs> After a I bit of research, Swedish divers returned to the site to gather a bit more evidence. The Baltic Sea object was still sitting there and almost perfectly circled, shaped like a flying saucer. But, Dang. alas... It wasn't a spaceship, and just a distinctly formed rock formation. So, oh, nah. as it turns out, thousands of people were up in arms for no reason at all, or Ew, were they? See what I be saying, fool. They be four, capping, bro. Terrifying like goblin shark. <laughs> One of the more disturbing <laughs> underwater creatures found fool, anywhere what, in the world uh, is, is a shark. That? But it may not be the one that you're thinking about. Whenever people think of a scary shark in the ocean, the most popular ones are usually things like the great white or maybe the super aggressive. I beat a great white ass. I'm letting you know that right now. Let a great white try to try to. Yeah. Yeah. You catching two to your dome. I'm just letting you know. It's a tiger shark. But there's one in particular that gives almost <laughs> everyone who sees know. it the chills. And of course, we're talking about the terrifying goblin shark. Oh, Check it out. Fool, it's what? equipped with a jaw that can thrust itself out about three inches anytime it. Hold on, time about fool. That jaw looked like it was sucking some. <laughs> Hold on, let's play it back. Let's play it back. Let's play it back. Goblin shark. Check let's it out. It it's equipped with a look jaw out. that can <laughs> thrust itself out about three <laughs> inches anytime it needs to catch its prey. And I mean, just how ugly is this thing? It Some almost doesn't look real, like it's something out of a science fiction <laughs> pick. Now, it's important to know that there That's aren't disgusting. technically any reported goblin shark attacks against human beings, but that doesn't make them any less horrifying to look at. And in uh. fact, nobody was able to look at the goblin shark for quite some time, as they were at one point considered to be extinct. And it's for that reason these guys are sometimes referred to as living fossils. These Bro, deep sea what? dwellers aren't meant for captivity and in each instance recorded where someone that tried to keep ugly. them in an aquarium, the animal passed away after just a few weeks. And while Dang. we don't know a whole lot about this creature that typically dwells outside of the human reach, whenever they do turn up, it's always sort of a big deal. And if you ever have a chance to see one of these things eat, well, prepare yourself. 
It's one of the grossest things you'll ever see. Uh, Number three, Apollo three. moon rocket engine. Next up today, we've got another strange object, or rather a pair of insanely large objects that were pulled up out of the Atlantic Ocean about five years ago. Every single time a rocket ship is blasted into space, there are parts of it that fall off and come back down to Earth, usually mm. falling into an ocean. The engines that power the boosters during the first stage collapse away from the rest of the ship and people assume that they would just sink to the bottom of the ocean, lost to the rest of the <coughs> world forever. Well, in 2012, a pair of engines were found and a privately funded project by none other than Amazon CEA Jeff Bezos paid mm. to recover the massive machines from underneath the water. Following several years of renovation, the engine pieces are finally publicly displayed at Dang. the Museum of Flight in Seattle. Now, is it just me that it doesn't seem as if we've given much thought to how something like this could affect the wildlife in the area of which these engines were dropped off? Yeah, as if like. something weighing hundreds of thousands of pounds doesn't need to be accounted for? Am I the only one who I just don't. thinks that's crazy? I, I use money. Number two, the I Corfu mean, creature. Today's dollar. special shout out goes to none other than <laughs> Wendy Stolte who did us the premium favor of watching one of our latest videos. And once she was done, she left an amazing comment. And because of that, she's earned special recognition from everyone here at the you Supreme to places just like the ones we're talking about on today's episode for the purposes of vacation and relaxing. Imagine this, you're walking along the edge of the water as the sun is going down, mm -hmm. holding your wife or your husband's hand my wife, when you my, notice something husband, pretty wife. disgusting. This <clears> thing, <throat> some dead decaying sea oh, monster that washed onto the shore of the Corfu beach. And it goes without saying that yet again, we've got a pretty disgusting animal to look at. Bro, what we? is that? Oddly Ooh. enough, another one that looks like it could be something straight out of the dinosaur era. If this one was one of those ancient That's creatures, so and believe mug. me, I know that'd be a pretty big if, but if it were, which one do you think it would be? Or does it look more like it could be some ancient mythical I want to, I want to touch it. <laughs> Marine I, animal. When it comes know, to creatures that are like unidentified, unfortunately, angel, sometimes boo. you end up with more questions than Wait, answers. Ass, uh, Still, <laughs> this is one ugly son of a gun. Do you want to get a shout out? Bruh. Ugly son of a gun. Are you? In one of bro. our daily videos, the just, sea monster is, at Okanagan oh, last Lake. Last up next. And to close out today's show, we've got yet another mysterious sea serpent that's reportedly been around for centuries. This picture here has stumped experts, animal researchers, oh. and even the locals, that as this super long snake, snake is apparently, quote, as long as a school bus. Unofficially what? named the Ogopongo, this Oga supposed Ongo. first sighting of the ever evasive <laughs> animal occurred all the way back in 1872, which for all of our oh, historians no. in the crowd oh. is about seven years earlier oh, than the bruh. first reported sighting of the legendary Loch Ness Monster. The indigenous people of Canada called this creature that they feared simply Lake Demon and in some respects even regard itself as Canada's very own version of the Loch Ness. According to what we can see monster? in its appearance and the descriptions left by previous generations oh, no. in the area over the years, that hey, name bruh. fits perfectly. What and was that's that, today's no. video huh. of the Loch Ness. According to what we... What? Bruh, is that a... Alright, bruh. I, I'm ending this video. <laughs> it's getting a little scary, man. It's really for that. Hey, bruh. Man, let me start the screen recording right now. But hey man, we gonna hey bro. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Oh, I'm loud. I hope y'all enjoyed that video, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep coming back with bangers and bangers and bangers. More reaction videos. If y'all like them, tell me what to react to, y'all, in the comments right now. Please go tell me what to react to right now. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna see y'all in the next mother freaking video. You feel me? Ah. I like y'all niggas. I, I really do. Buggers, but guess on the watch. My niggas, they slimy, they act like they not. If we put up a hundred, they write a show talk. Dropping the tops on the whip, it's the law. I spent like 3,000 and shut down the 